Hello, guys. We have all heard the stories of bank heists, jewelry store robberies, or even car theft. But apparently, they're not the only thing people find valuable. Apparently, cash and jewelry are not the only things burgles and thieves have found valuable. So in today's video, I will list 10 of the dumbest things ever stolen. Make sure you stay till the end of the video. Please give it a thumbs up and support the channel by subscribing. Let's start the video. Number 8. Toes Stealing body parts from dead people is not that rare, but it is creepy in all seriousness. In 2018, Auckland City, New Zealand hosted an exhibition called Body Worlds Vital. The exhibition was made up of human organs and dead bodies, which seems like the sort of thing that would attract fairly unusual people in the first place. According to reports, a man named Puteon Williams just went up to one of the corpses and stole the index and middle toes. He could have gotten away with it if he wasn't dumb enough to post his actions on social media. This provided photo evidence, and he was charged with a specific niche of crimes, improperly interfering with the dead body of an unknown person. Surprisingly, the toes were worth $3,813. Number 7. Human Hair Hairs are a valuable commodity, especially if you do not have much of them. But in 2013, in a city of Maracibo, Venezuela, a gang called Piranhas committed rather different crimes. They used to roam around the streets, cutting off local women's hair, and then sold the hair. Imagine someone holding a gun to you and asking for your hair. Women with good hair were their main victims. They forced them to tie ponytails and then slice them off using scissors or razor blades. If you're wondering why, the hair could fetch a pretty good price, sometimes going for over $800 because they are used to make wigs and hair extensions. Number 6. Napoleon's Genitals All right, we know people have a thing for stealing body parts, but things got out of hand when privates of the former emperor got stolen. In 1827, after his death, the doctor who performed the autopsy on Napoleon's body cut off his genitals. He took it to a priest in Corsica. After the new owner of the organ died, it was displayed at an exhibition in Manhattan. A writer from Time magazine looking like a maltreated strip of buckskin shoelace, it is obvious that Napoleon's private matters were not very well taken care of. Pun intended. Number five. A glacier. Just like you, when I first saw this, I said, What now? In 2012, a Chilean man stole a large chunk of one of the glaciers in Patagonia's remote South American region. He took five tons of ice from the Jorge Mont Glacier and fled the scene in a truck before the Chilean National Forest Service realized that anything was wrong. Once they became aware of his actions, they informed the police, and the police picked up the truck in Cochrane and the driver. The reason he stole the ice was not to make an ice hoop in his backyard, but to sell it in upscale restaurants. The glacier's ice is used in drinks at high-end bars, as said to make them taste better. If he had succeeded, he could have made several thousand dollars. Number 4. Dog Poop in 2015, a robber was trying to get away with a truck he found parked outside someone's home. He managed to break into the vehicle, but failed to actually steal it. The thief was determined not to leave the scene empty-handed. He searched around the truck's bed and spotted a bag full of dog poop. To retain his dignity as a thief, he decided to take what he could and run away. When the owner found his truck unlocked, he informed the authorities. And investigations revealed that a bag full of dog poop was stolen worth $1. To this day, I wonder how he came to that evaluation. Number 3. The Brain of Albert Einstein Now that we know people are not shy of stealing toes and other stuff off human bodies, this may not sound crazy. When Einstein died, people wanted to find out the secrets of his insane intelligence. Without a doubt, he is one of the most intelligent people ever lived. Thomas Stoltz Harvey took it a step further when he stole Einstein's brain from his dead body in pursuit of finding the secrets behind his unique abilities. He published several studies to prove that his brain had a different structure, but sadly, 
All of them were debunked later on. Number two, manhole covers. 2004 was not the best year for manhole covers. Around 200 of these were stolen in London, with 93 being reported in just one week. The reason was steel prices were steeping up at the time, and these were actually sold in the scrap for a fair price. The idea was not limited to the UK, though. Beijing saw around 240,000 of its 600,000 covers taken in the same year. The situation got so bad and presented such a risk to people walking the streets that the Chinese government even developed new covers made of materials other than steel that would be worthless if stolen. Number 1. A Beach In 2008, the Coral Springs Beach Resort in Jamaica was the beach theft site. Well, not exactly the beach, but the sand that held more value. The thieves who knew the value were able to take off with enough sand to fill 500 trucks. The stolen sand amounted to a large section of the beach. The incident took place during the height of summer in July, and you would think someone would have noticed the trucks of sand being driven away, but it actually took weeks of investigation for the authorities to get to the bottom of it. Although they quickly concluded that the stolen sand was being sold to other resorts in the area, the theft of a beach may seem pretty funny to us, but there is actually a worldwide black market trade in the sort of white sand found on the beach at Coral Spring, which is caused by a global shortage due to environmental destruction. In this particular case, however, the sand thieves got away easy. Police charged five men for stealing the sand, but the case was dropped when a major witness received death threats and refused to testify. So there it is, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you click the like button and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.